the bad guy. I mean, I get why they're mad, but all I said was stop calling me. Where's India? Where was she at when this happened? She was in the living room, same place with me when this joint happened. And she keep on talking about the dumb stuff. Like, why the negative energy? Like, that's not being negative. It's called confrontation. No, because, like, you were wrong with arguing. Okay, arguing isn't exactly negative. But everything is negative to you if it ain't good, I guess. Because you didn't. Because it ain't good. But the opposite of good, negative. It's not the opposite. Well, because you're not, not complying. Exactly. You don't You do not do what somebody else say. You're not a people pleaser. What? She, she actually is a people pleaser. That's her problem. But. but this ain't about going back and forth between y'all two. I keep trying to tell y'all why and who be uh, trying to we cause division. You. He don't like confrontation. Not only that. But she's kissing somebody's butt. Look, okay, now we know the difference between what was happening. India, Mimi, I keep trying to tell y'all to work together when it comes down to it. I, now, I don't know the reason why he called her. What was we his reason? We're not the same as we once was before, all right? I understand that, but this, this is because this is because this is the atmosphere we're in. You're never going to... You're making no sense right now. I literally take up for you every time somebody brings up your name. But whenever it's me, never really do anything for you. You don't want to do that before. But that's just bashing you? Yeah. If I was really serious, I'd literally be bashing you. Like, literally. Y'all ain't even like, trying to listen to me right now. If I was serious. But I'm not. Like, see how you're taking your anger on me right now? I'm not being angry. I'm speaking it how it is. And I'm not like, angry. I'm so unnecessary. If I was angry, I'd like, be so screaming right now. No, see, hold up, Indy, you should start How to learn. Look, just because you go and say it doesn't mean you're a positive person. Indeed, you? now Mimi, now Mia, I mean India, if your if your sister's trying to talk to you, you might, might want to open your ears and listen. Nobody can talk to her. But but Mimi, listen, Mimi, Mimi, Mia. Stop attacking in a way with how you speaking, cause you you make it to where nobody wants to be receptive to how you speaking. Because I'm telling the truth. A little I bit, yes, yes, truth. yes, but still, how you still doing this in a sarcastic way? It makes people not want to listen to you genuinely. Now, India, you should have a little bit more, uh, uh, be more uh, uh, sympathetic towards your sister when she's speaking to you. And I keep trying to tell you, and then when it got something to do with this dude that's that trying to cause, and. So she feels like you take up or you be more siding with Yogi Bear than with her when it comes down to it. When everybody trying to make it an issue. I'm literally her own blood. So me not saying anything is me siding with him? Yes, silence equals violence. Why do you think the people who be quiet about racial injustice are That's part of the so problem? Crazy, right? and, and, you, and you be like, I, 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 I feel like, you know, you be having, you choose side when it comes down, right, well, as long as he don't treat me like shit, I don't care, type of attitude. And I keep trying to tell you, when you stick together with, with your sister, the better the communication will be, and the better peacefully will be. Okay, then go away. It's not about her going away. she don't even want to hear But India, what, what, you, what you doing right now is defensive, it's corny. Well, what she's doing, bouncing off like I'm side or something like that, but she's not even trying to get an ear. Cause she don't understand. She thinks she know everything. All she wanna hear is stuff that goes. She's literally like mom. All she wanna hear is stuff. If she wants stuff to go her way, she only wants to hear what sounds good to her. Now, if I didn't like what somebody was saying, I would literally listen to exactly what they're saying and explain why what they're saying is making me mad, or at least know exactly what's making me mad. She doesn't analyze any freaking emotions. And the fact that the, the, the people in my house lack self-analyzation, like they don't try to analyze the situation, they don't see the situation, they just feel a certain way and start babbling because they're mad. Or oh, they don't want to deal with, they don't want to be accountable. I feel like I'm living with a bunch of idiots. That's becoming common. Like a bunch of them. It's becoming common, but I keep telling you, as far as you and your sister, you gotta be able to identify 
you know, when you speak to your sister about how you feel about in regards of that dude over there, how you tell her how you, I don't know if she even know how you feel about it, but. And I could have played it off and I could have been like, oh, I was telling somebody else to stop calling me. What did you want? But instead, I didn't say that because I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. And then my mom had to come out of nowhere talk about some, why are you saying this? Why do you say that? There's no reason for you to not like him. Even though I gave you like 10, 6, 7 reasons as to why I don't like him. And the dude bought me retro ones, but he can take them back. Or you could give them to somebody else. Because I don't want your shoes if you're going to be little, like calling my name like I'm a dog. Or like, I'm not going to be jumping to your beck and call. That's not how it works. You're raised in a different household. In this household, supposedly, we're supposed to be going to people's faces if we want to talk to them. Hmm. So I don't know. He he looks like he's like. How were you raised? Like. I told you. And now, I'm probably not gonna get anything for my birthday, but I really don't care because I re- I don't have any clothes. Not any clothes that I like. I literally only have like three decent outfits. So that's cool. My sister gets everything she wants because she's kissing up to that dude. That dude's literally buying her everything that she is owning right now. It's because that, to try to make you jealous. I told you already. But it's just like you're supposed to be my mom. Like you're supposed to buy me stuff. But if you broke, then just say that. Then. She's not broke. I don't just... know how you marry somebody from like. She's not broke. She's just not wanting to spend the money on you or anybody else. She's spending the money on herself. And then when I say these things to her, she act like, oh, you're over dramatic. I'm like, for instance, you have a whole skin repair routine. But, I mean, you're grown, so you go outside and you need it, I guess, because you got to see other people you go to work. Me, my skin is dry. I don't take care of myself. I was, I'm a kid. I don't have money to go buy a skin, ru- a skin care routine for myself. No, I have to wait till I get grown to actually start taking care of myself. The only form of self-care I know is taking a shower and brushing my teeth. That's literally it. So not only though, um, I'm wanting to raise myself or at least take care of myself, groom myself, but I feel like trash, so I don't even feel like doing that. And she doesn't ask me, oh, Mia, how are you doing? How are you feeling today, you know? Is there anything I did? You need me to help you with something? Is school hard? None of that. All I know is if and when I have a kid, I'm going to ask how they're feeling mentally and emotionally. And I'm going to ask for their favorite snacks so they don't go hungry when there's no groceries. It's only so much you can do as a mother, I guess. But it's like, she I guess because she had kids early at 20 and she was working like mad jobs, hmm. you know? And you was like taking care of us while she was working. I guess she didn't really like, all we needed was like beds and some clothes on our backs. And you know, some kids have it harder, you know? And my life isn't all bad, but there's some flaws, you know. Things could be better. And I can't have this talk with her because all she's going to, like, not even want to listen. Because I don't like her little boyfriend. Oh, wait, they're married for some reason. Let's see how that work out, like your past marriages. Only time will tell. Unless you just stay married, you know, just because in spite of that. Time will continue to tell. I, I don't even like any of the guys she's ever been with, including you. <laughs> like, me and India will, still would have been here if y'all didn't get married. And it would have been so different. It would have saved so much time, too. Technically, we wouldn't be bastards because you don't have a mistress and you didn't have a baby by a mistress. So that's really the definition of a bastard. So we really wouldn't be. But anyways... <sighs> I guess I do need a therapist. Because I could be telling this. But if it, like, if the time comes up, like, if nothing never sparks it, I'm not just going to bring up everything. There's so much stuff I have to bring up, but it's, like, hard. 
Where at what point? Where is this? Where is this hard? That it's only hard bringing it up to people like your mom, people like that. That's when it's so called hard because people don't want to face it. So it's not necessarily you hard for you to do. They just try to make you feel uncomfortable for doing it. I don't even want the guy buying me stuff, especially since he bought me a phone, right? And then somebody like stole my phone at school, and I was going through a lot that year, you know. My mom tried to choke me. I didn't really know who I was. You know, I had to move into my aunt's house. It wasn't really any better because I was sleeping on a hard couch and had to wake up super earlier than what I already did. And I hated being on the basketball team. I thought it was going to make me feel better, but it just made me feel worse. And it sparked a lot of my social anxiety. doesn't help screaming doesn't help well thinking doesn't help any of those things that you just mentioned every everything of those things you just mentioned bring you closer to the peace sometimes and, i just wish i could just like go away to somewhere else better than earth well there has to be a better place you know how many freaking galaxies there are planets stars like then i had to be on earth of all places there has to be other living beings, and I just had to be a freaking human. May your day get better. Now, India hangs up the phone. Y'all gets on the phone together, and it's never necessarily... Because when nobody's on her side, then it's a problem. But so I got, I'm, I'm getting brought in for y'all to have a conversation, but that don't happen often, because now it's I like... I just called the group chat, you know, I mean, I could have called you. And well, you... I don't know. But yeah, so you did, so it's like I get caught into a, uh, uh, I get caught into this, this confrontation, this conflict, where I have no idea what the hell is happening, but I get caught into it, and now... You know, like, you, you telling me, like, you, you don't like me for whatever the, your reasons are. No, it's not about me not liking you. It's about me not liking you and my mom together. That's totally different. Well, either way, now, India looking at me like I'm the enemy because I'm, you know, trying to help her see where she could be accountable or responsible at in regards to your sister, her sister, and her her mom and her so called man that she's with, you know how to how to what keep happened? the peace between y'all. I'm gonna just have to come to the realization that not a lot of people care about me, and that's okay because I have to. The, learn the to only care people about you're myself. talking about is only those people you in the house with. I don't well, give you. I don't you... know. I don't know because it seems like they do. I mean, my mom bought me a romper for my birthday. When again, we were little 16 because year old again. Birthday. And you, I, and I don't want you wearing that shit. It's a, it's a jumpsuit. It's not a dress. It's like pants in a dress together. Yeah, I know. And it's probably hugging you. She, it's not. She's trying. She's trying to. She's trying to. You don't understand. She and what she's trying to do. What she's been trying to do all along. I don't wear stuff like that anyway. I don't really care what she's trying to do. I just wish she would leave me alone. And well, get Wait, out the house. I keep telling you, no. You don't even have. I do, I do, and do sort of G mom, sort of knees. It's not, a, it's not an excuse. You want to be at where you at, cause you're where you at. Well, it's not necessarily hard. This is not hard in rocket science. So all this is just you making the choice of getting out of your comfort zone, and 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 one is going the other side of things and being able to see for what it is. And, you and know, and watch I become a running back. Well, Looking you have to, you have to get to the other side first to even decide when to run on the other side back. But you got your mind made up, so and nothing else that anybody can say until you convince yourself. You know, since you you know, like you said, you you calling and, and you thinking and all the other stuff ain't working. So, at what point are you gonna try something new? If all of those things you can, you telling yourself they ain't working.
told you the other day how they just doing what they doing to try to enable you and weaken you. But this is where you want to, want to remain at. I keep trying to tell you and your sister to, st to strengthen y'all bonds up. That's the only way you're going to defeat those people in the household where you at. But y'all can y'all insist on... She don't want to defeat them. She's a part of them. Don't you get it? She's a part of that whole villain league. That's them. She's a part of it. Whether she can versus with me or not, she's with them. I'm pretty yeah. sure you watched enough episodes on the cartoons where... That kind of happened to one of those, to one of the team players, and you had to snap, somebody, you had to work on snapping them out of it to gain control and get the team back. And that's all this is. This, this. One of my teams never was, even when we was living in the same room for literally all our lives. You keep on convincing yourself that the more you're going to take it, the more you're going to ride on that narrative. And it's the same narrative. And see so I'm that. I'm gonna waste my life on a person I don't even know anymore. Look, she, you. I don't even know her anymore. That this is the seed that's been planted on that side of town, and if you want that seed to continue to grow or not, that's going to be on your decisions, nobody else's. It's whatever you choose to feed. You want to choose that narrative, then that's what's going to grow, and that's what's going to become. That's what's going to manifest. You want to work on the other side of things? You want to work on building that bond with your sister and doing things that in a peaceful manner for y'all so to grow? What if we have a bond, though? Technically, we already have a bond regardless of what's Well, well look, whatever it is, I'm telling you to strengthen it. No matter how, whatever it is, you're going to go through it. And the more you become sharpening up when it comes down to communicating, you know, like I said, you, you older, but you still got, you still can learn from anything she can learn from you as far as communicating and learning how to treat one another. I keep trying to tell y'all that. And I'm wondering, like, what could he possibly want from me? Just calling me for no reason. Well, yo, I'm not over, I, I don't fucking know, and I, I'm sorry you didn't say that, I encourage you. Because, again, you're allowing them in that situation to get you out of your character. When is he going to realize that you're not related to me, therefore you have no authority over me? Just because you're married to my mom, or you like my mom, bony my mom, whatever, that's with, that's y'all, that's y'all life. Y'all just so happen to live in the same house as me because she had children with another person and so they have to live under her roof according to the law. Do you not understand? All of this stuff that he bought me, I could literally take it off and give it to you because I don't want it. Well, this is the reason why he probably feel like he can call you to, and tell you this and that and the third. Well, well, you took it. You, you took it, which you consent to what he's got trying to do to you now. If I don't tell you, then I'm going to keep getting the side eye from my mother. Talking about something. I'm tired of her. I'm, I'm like... And the more you keep faking the funk, this is why you feel like a piece of shit. Because you keep faking the funk. Stop faking the funk. She said it's not cool to blatantly... Let somebody know that. Yo, she who like cares? Them. Well, what again? You still worried about well, what she's saying to you? Uh, well, I guess because I'm living under her house. Again, well, that's why you feel like a piece of shit now. I'm gonna feel like that wherever I go. No, so no, no, you me. don't. Again, you, 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 you didn't have to accept the gift. Thanks, but no thanks. Period. You you accepted those gifts? That's why he can call you. Like the slave that he feel like you are. That's why your mom can feel like she can treat you like the way you are as well. Because she feel like she she y'all y'all just y'all like y'all her minions. She don't have any respect. It's clear. That's been clear. It's not a secret. This is 